Hey Bass Geek here, and today I'm gonna tell you how that unit has already changed the way I fish. What's up geeks? Hey, we are out here on what we call Wise Reservoir. It's Bear Creek Reservoir. It is a trolling motor only lake and they stock it with trout. Unfortunately, we are not having a good day. We're catching, I think we've caught what, two, Jeremy? We've caught two. Two dinks. So, you know, like if they're 13 inches, we'll be happy. But all that being said, it's a perfect time to talk to you about the good, the bad, the ugly, and how the Garmin Live Scopes really changed how I fish. All right, so let's talk about the bad first. Guys, as y'all know, I had the opportunity and it was awesome to get to go out and fish with one of my buddies, Mr. John Sokup. He showed me, I think, what do you have, Jeremy? The, what was it we said, the Eco Maps? Yeah, I think they're the Eco Map Ultras. Ultras, yeah. So, so the Eco Map Ultras, and you know, I've got just the GPS map. I think he had the 12s, he had the big fancy pants, nice ones. But you know, it was really enlightening getting to see the Live Plus and by somebody who's was so versed and knowledgeable about it. And I learned a ton from him and I appreciate the heck out of it. And I was super excited, like I wanted one tomorrow, you know, when I got off the boat with him. But the next day, I kind of started having a lot of emotions. So yeah, I love that thing, don't get me wrong. It has absolutely changed the way I fish. But what were the emotions I had the day after? To be honest, a little depression because some of the stuff I seen and some of the bass that I seen him catch were bass that guys with no graph, no forward facing sonar of any kind would have never known were even there. And I'll be honest with you, that kind of depressed me because it's almost like everything that we've learned, a lot of stuff that I've taught you, it's wrong. Like bass, are out in the middle of the water just swimming around. They're not necessarily relating to anything except maybe bait fish. And some of the bass we've seen weren't even relating to that. So it was a little depressing to know that a lot of the stuff we thought and think about bass, we may find out is completely wrong as we watch them in live time. Let's talk about the good. Listen guys, these things are easy to use and you're gonna catch fish that you don't normally catch. Are you gonna catch more fish? Guys, I've fished, and Jeremy can attest to this, I've fished for suspended bass for years. So if you haven't fished for bass that are out in the open water or suspended over ledges, yeah, you're, you're gonna catch bass that you've never caught. You're gonna see bass that you've never seen. And I think it's going to drastically change the way you fish. In my area, we're used to fishing for suspended bait chasers, roaming bass, or bass that just suspend over a ledge for whatever reason. We're kind of used to that. You know, Jeremy, I've, I've taught Jeremy how to do it. But I will say, the first day we went out, you know, we had to record some videos. The wife called, Jeremy's on the front, He's never even seen. Never even touched one. Never even seen a Garmin. What, second, third cast? Catch what? Probably maybe, a maybe two, two, two and a half pound. pound. Yeah. yeah, on an underspin. Threw it out there, seen it, seen the fish, bam, caught one. So that's how easy it is to use. So don't let people BS you about it's hard. I think what gets people hung up a lot of times is what they're looking for. But before we talk about the ugly, Let's talk about the good. I mean, heck, the great, let's face it, great. Is it gonna help you catch more fish? Yeah. I think for me though, it's helping me catch the fish that I'm going to catch a lot faster. I'm able to hone in on things. I'm able to see things, figure out the pattern, the depth, and what the bass are doing. It's like light speed. It's like hyperdrive. For example, I was playing with this thing one day Literally, you can see a popper, you can see a walking bait, you can see a buzz bait coming across the top of the water at about 40, 50 feet out. You can see the disturbance on top of the water, so you can see how the bass react to it 
under the water or in brush piles. So you automatically know what water depth are those fish coming out of to look at that buzz bait. Even if they don't hit it, you're finding areas that have fish. Now think about that in a tournament aspect of practice. How much time is that going to allow you to save? That you can take some sort of, whether it's a top water, whether it's a crankbait, whether it's a jerk bait, or whether it's a swim bait or a spinner bait, something that you can throw out there, watch it come down and see if fish just show themselves, just show themselves. You don't even have to catch them. You don't even have to sore mount those fish. That changes a lot. The great is being able to see the bass react, see the bass react to the bait, to the color. So there's no more guessing, hey, this is what they want. This is the size swim bait. This is the color swim bait. This is the color jerk bait. This, 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 and this. Hey, look the way they've got it in their mouth. They're hitting the back hook. They're hitting the front hook, blah, 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 blah. You get to watch them and watching them, watching them if you're not careful, can be the ugly part too. So yeah, the ugly, I mean, me and Jeremy can also attest that you can sit and stare at a group of fish and throw everything in the boat at them all day long and you can get hung up there. So you have to know when, and, and this is gonna take time. This is gonna take time of you using the graph. You've gotta learn what size the fish are you're seeing. You can judge that off, off your bait size. I'll just put it there. That's a whole nother video, trust me. There's the reaction to whatever bait you throw. These fish, they're not stupid. And most lakes, at least the lakes that I fish, they're pretty educated. They've seen everything I've thrown. A lot of people seen the videos that I go fish and they've seen everything I throw from them <laughs> and probably some caveats that they've come up with. You can get hung up in one place too long and you can get hung up chasing fish you see on the screen when you should just be covering water and going down a bank. Don't forget, most of the hardcore rules of fishing are still the hardcore rules of fishing. I will tell you this, it's inspired me to order a Wally Marshall crappy rod because all the crappy I'm seeing, holy cow, people. Whew, it's gonna be a freezer full. Me and Jeremy done talked about it. Well, it's gonna be two freezer fulls. Anyway, that's back to the good. You know, is it worth it? It depends on you and how you like to fish and what you can afford. But for me, I love my graphs. I'm an IT guy. I love technology. I love anything that's going to cut my catch time down shorter. And I always stress that to you guys when it comes to graphs. Kevin Van Dam can go out and he can he fishes six seven days a week all year long me and you a lot of us guys we just get to fish a day or two a week you know we're weekend warriors you guys that get to fish more than that you're not the majority you're the minority feel good you're lucky for me graphs help me in summer in spring in winter in fall when they're shallow when they're deep they help me find find the fish and solve the puzzle. When you only get to fish one or two days a week, I think that's the most important thing that they can do for you. So you need to take advantage of that. Get the graph that you can afford. And if you can't afford it, heck, I mean, go out and get a deeper. I mean, I'll tell you, those things, you know, they're like, what, 60 bucks or 70 bucks. You cast them out and you cover water. I mean, you can go to Walmart and get a cheap eagle that's where i started at a black and white graph you know if you can't afford that just go have a good time man it's it's fishing i'm just saying graphs help you find bass fast the garmin is like warp drive for the boat i mean you got the stars going by you know jeremy making chewbacca sounds i mean that's how fast we're finding fish now we ain't catching no more but we're finding them that's my thoughts as always guys questions comments in the comment section below i'll keep you updated on what i think about it and how things change as we go on you know i love to talk about fishing i'll answer all the questions that you have about them we'll do some more videos on it in the future but as always like it if you like it don't forget to subscribe make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications. Watching is the best way to support the channel, guys. Watch 100%. Be in the 100 Club, all right? And as always, you guys rock. Wow!